buying a home, you may not always love the color choices the previous owner had picked. After months have passed, you realize your rooms are still either too bright or too dull for your liking. Today, I will teach you how to paint a room no matter the size or color. I will give you easy step-by-step -step tips to follow, all the supplies you will need, along with pictures to show you you are doing everything you need to get the perfect room you desire. Your first step is to gather your supplies. You will need two rolls of blue painter's tape, an angled sash brush, a screwdriver, wet washcloth, a paint roller, painting tray, a gallon of paint, spackle, and spackle putty. The next step is to wipe all the walls off to get all access dust so the paint goes on more evenly along with the trim so the tape sticks better. The next step is to remove all outlet covers. After that, you need to spackle all holes you have taken the nails out of so the paint goes on more evenly. If there's any chipped paint, go ahead and scrape that off so the paint goes on smoothly. The next step is to tape all walls around door frames, trim, and outlets. After that, it is time to start cutting around where the, there's tight corners that you cannot reach with the roller. You will go around the baseboards of the trim, door frames, windows, and outlets. After that, it is time to start rolling. Roll in an up and down fashion horizontally and then go vertically to minimize all white spaces in the walls. Always end in a downward motion <coughs> so the paint ends up more evenly and smooth in the end. After that, it is time to let the walls dry. When the walls are all dry, it is time to take off the tape. When taking off the tape, do so very slowly so you do not rip off any of the paint on the walls. If it is dripping, be sure to wipe the baseboards quickly. After that, it is time to wash the brushes. If you wash the brushes right after, it is easier to use for the next use and they last a lot longer in the end. Step 10, move all your furniture back in the room. And after that, it is time to sit back and enjoy your newly painted room. My sources are from HGTV, DIY Network, and Easy Simple Painting.